Nicole Wolf and I'm a paranormal romance author. Welcome back to my channel. So this is day three of my writing vlog. I'm writing Kiss of the Arctic which is the third novel in my series and um, hopefully today goes a little better. Um, I was right if anybody that's seen day two already. Uh, my daughter didn't have school today and my husband is home because we have a snowstorm going on outside, so I'm writing while it's snowing, which is kind of nice, but, um, but having everyone in the house has kind of thrown my schedule off already. Actually, should have worked out today already. I should have already worked out today and I didn't because my husband is downstairs in the living room, which is where I work out, so, yeah. I guess I should have tried doing something up here. Maybe I'll do that later. So, there goes, there goes the writing schedule. But, but my daughter and my husband are both home today. So, that's thrown some things off. So, uh, aside from the uh, random changes going on today, uh, I'm still going to try and get my words in. So, let's get this started. So I just realized that I forgot to give you guys like a wrap up for day three. Um, so day three actually went super, super well. Um, my word count goal is like a thousand words and that day I got, I know I got at least 2,000 words and then I had a write-in with uh, D.L. Tillery and Aphrodite Lee, I'll leave their channels below um, because we did a live write-in. Um, I'll try and link that video below too. And during that live live stream write-in, I got another I don't know, like eight or nine hundred words during the write-in as well. So that would put my my daily word count for day three like near three thousand probably. And that is one of my uh, definitely one of my better days. That might have been a record breaker actually. Um, so yeah, uh, I got a lot of scenes. I got one, two, three. I finished up my second scene, which was the one that I started on day two. Um, and then I got one, two, I think I got three, like two and a half or three more scenes completely done. So I'm on like my fifth, fourth or fifth scene now that I'm writing today. Um, so today is day four. It's Friday, February 1st. So new month. Um, and again, I'm going to go to the coffee shop today and I'm going to let you know all that in the next video. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, that's all I got for you for day three. Like I said, great day. Um, really liking the write-ins. I really should do those more often. And um, I will see you guys on day so, four. So um, I'm hopping on to give you a quick update on my writing schedule. Um, last week, I posted that I was trying out a new writing schedule, 
well, like just schedule overall because it includes like all of my housework and my workout that I want to fit in and my writing and I, like everything, like just life schedule. Um, so that's our last week. And week one did not go well. <laughs> we'll just say that. Uh, however, I'm going to give it another go. I'm not going to just throw it out the window because it didn't work for the first week. I'm going to give it another row because last week was kind of an, an anomaly as far as normal daily schedules for us. It was because we had snow in the right smack in the middle of the week. So my daughter was home from school from Tuesday all the way until Thursday. So she had three days off of school last week. So she was home all day. My husband... I believe he was home on Tuesday. He stayed home because of the snow. Um, so, like I said, that kind of threw everything off because of my daughter being home. And anytime everyone is home, the house gets, yeah, my house is a mess again. And, and, and these dogs are driving me absolutely loony. I don't know. I don't, now, last week was, again, an anomaly, but I feel like they need to get retrained all over again because it was super cold out last week, so they did not want to go outside. So I had a lot of cleaning up to do last week, more than usual. So, um, so they're driving me crazy with that. They're making, like, they're making almost more work for me than my kids are, which is which is saying something. So, um, so I'm going to hop, I'm going to hop back on the writing schedule today and I'm going to hope, I'm going to hope that I can actually get it to work this week since everybody's kind of back on their regular schedule. Kyle is back to school. My husband is back at work. It's just me and Jace and the pets at home. So, I'm going to try and get the house back in order during my house chores hours, which is from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, although my, my son did wake up a little late today. Like, he woke up a little late, later than usual, probably because he got up late. So, I don't know if he's going to go down for his nap at normal time. But I think I'm going to try and at least get him to just kind of have quiet time at normal time so that I can try and get some writing done like I need I need to catch up but luckily I had a really good week a really good day one day last week on Tuesday and I was able to like write ahead like the, the rest of the week I got all of the rest of my writing done for the whole week done in that one day so that was kind of just luck on my part and so if you ever think that you stop at a thousand you're like I'm having a really good run and I could write a whole lot more words but I, I hit my allotment so I don't need to you know what if you're having a good day keep writing because you never know when you need those banked words <laughs> I needed them like literally right away <laughs> so um so I will update you again next week and let you know how this week goes hi everyone my name is Nicole Wolf and I'm a paranormal romance author welcome back to my channel so today is day four of my writing vlog. Um, I'm writing the third book in my White Moon Warriors series. And it is Tuesday, February 5th, 2019. Um, so anybody who's been watching my other videos is going to know that, uh, okay girl, you started day one on uh, January 25th and it's February 5th and you're only on day four. <laughs> you're, you're missing a couple of days there. And you're right. I am. I am missing quite a few days. Um, I have been taking Saturdays and Sundays off and last week, luckily... Monday and Tuesday. Luckily, my day one, two, and three, uh, luckily my day one, two, and three went really, really well. I got over 5,000 words. In fact, I think it was like 5,166 or something like that. 
um, total for the week. And that was technically in three days of actual writing. So, um, last Tuesday, a week ago, which was day three of my writing, uh, I have, I, I'll link the, the video for that below in case anybody hasn't seen it. I had a really, really good day that day. I wrote like almost 3,000 words in that one day, which like doesn't happen for me. So anybody, now I only, not my goal was only to write a thousand words a day. So obviously I wrote like triple the amount of words than my goal was. So I could have stopped way, way, way earlier. Um, but I didn't because I was, I was on a roll and I happened to have a writing sprint with the L. Tillery and Aphrodite Lee. I will link their YouTube channels below. They have a really fun um, weekly write-in on Tuesday nights. Uh, and they, I think they take turns on channels, uh, like whose channel is going to be. It, one week it's D. L. Tillery's channel and the other week it's Aphrodite Lee's channel. So um, I'll link their channels below in case you guys want to hop on on Tuesday nights and join us. Um, so anyway, uh, I got another like thousand words done during that write-in. So I had 2000 words written earlier in the day and then I had that write-in scheduled and that just kind of added to the pile. So anybody who has like a writing goal, like a specific word count goal, like mine is a thousand words and you find yourself meeting that goal that day, but you can feel that you have a lot more words left in you that day. Keep writing. Like, don't, don't just be like, you know what? I hit my goal, even though like I could absolutely write more words right now, but I hit my goal and I want to go like do whatever. Um, I suggest that if you're feeling motivated to write that day, you keep writing because you never know when you're going to need those banked, those banked words. I call them banked words because it means like, you know, you're filling your quota for the week. Like I, my quota is I, I want to write 5,000 words a week because I want to write a thousand day, a thousand words, five days a week. So 5,000 words a week. Um, if I hadn't have stayed writing that day and continued to write and ended up writing 3,000 words, um, I would have been behind in my in my word count for the week, but instead I met my word count for the whole week by Tuesday. So, like I said, if you're feeling motivated to write, you write as much as you can until you are out of words because you never know when life is going to happen and you're going to need to rely on those banked words to stay on track. With your with your actual goals writing goals so um uh last week what happened was like i said i had a really good day on tuesday it's not that i hadn't planned on writing again it's not like i was like oh well i hit my five thousand words and i'm just not like not gonna write the rest of the week that's it's not really what happened um my daughter was home from school tuesday wednesday and thursday they had no school and they had a two-hour delay on friday um so she was home all week. My husband was also home on Tuesday all day, uh, which I think is actually why I was able to write so many words on Tuesday. It was actually because my husband was home all day and that meant I had someone else here to help with the kids so that I could spend more time writing that day. So I, I mean, I really do think that might've been why. I think the majority of the reason I'm not able to write as much during the week is because until my husband gets home at 5:30 in the evening it's I'm it's just me taking care of everything house pets and we have three of them kids uh, meals everything like everything I have to take care of everything so um that obviously leaves less time for me to devote to writing or the author stuff or whatever so that probably played a role but then he went back to work Wednesday, Thursday. So 
That's probably why I didn't get any writing done on Wednesday and Thursday because both of the kids were home that day and my dogs were having a freaking conniption fit because it was like five degrees outside and they just refused to go outside. So I was having, I was having a day. I was having a few days. Thank God it's nice out today. Like it's like 70 degrees out today. And I was like, I'm taking advantage of this. We're all going outside for like three hours because we need some sunshine. Anyway, so that was a bit of a ramble. I apologize. So anyway, day four, starting day four, let's get this, let's get this day started. to do a quick check-in because I haven't actually been recording all of my writing days because I've been switching from doing a lot of my writing at home to doing a lot of my writing away from home um, at coffee shops and things like that so and I don't I haven't gotten comfortable enough to record in public so um, my home today because it's snowing again outside. It is Tuesday, February 12th. So yes, you could tell by the date. I have not checked in in a week. So it's been a whole week. So, um, I might just do weekly check-ins just because of my new schedule. So we'll see. Um, <clears throat> so last week, I didn't quite hit my goal. Uh, I think I was like a thousand words short, which my goal is 5,000 words a week. And I think I hit like just under 4,000. So I have a little bit of catching up to do this week and I'm already day behind because my husband came home early from work yesterday and it was snowing. It's a two, it, 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 this is like a two day thing apparently with these snowstorms, so um, it prevents me from leaving because we don't have a four wheel drive vehicle, so I'm kind of stuck in house, which makes it a little harder for me to write sometimes, so we're going to see how this goes today at home again. Um, so anyway, last week I went to the coffee shops for my writing time from about 7 p.m. to between 9 and 10 p.m. so like two or three hours and most of the days I was able to get close to my writing goal or meet my writing goal in fact I have it in my notebook here I've been tracking it in my notebook oh I, have st I forgot I have stickers um, I've been tracking it in my planner notebook here and um, I kind of have a box if you can see I have a little box on each day for me to fill in uh, according to how many words I write and there's my little um, grid for how I fill in the boxes so an X is no writing um, up to 500 is like the little lines and then I'll fill in the whole box if I get 500 to a thousand and then I get 
I get a star if I get over a thousand, which is my, my writing goal. So, um, as you can see from how my boxes are looking, <laughs> there's quite a few X's going on, but a lot of my writing, like last week was actually pretty good, which is right here. So I wrote, and then I have my word counts like right here. So you'll see that's how, that's where I'm at right now. I think right no, right here. That's where I'm, that's, that's the word count I'm starting with today. So, 8,406 words. So, yeah, I have some catching up to do because I should have been at 10,000 words last week. So, um, I'm going to try and get to that today, um, to 10,000, which will leave me a couple days to write another 5,000. See, this is the problem when you get far behind, when you get behind, because now you're, you have to play catch up. That's not always easy. So, um, so that's what's going on today. Uh, luckily I have a write-in scheduled later today with D.L. Tillery and Aphrodite Lee, hopefully. Um, I think that's how it's happening today. And, um, I tend to get, I, I tend to get pretty good words in during write-ins. Um, so I'm hoping that'll kind of help put me over, get me back on track, having that write in again later today. So, so yeah, uh, that's my, um, it's my little update for the last week. And now I'm going to start whatever day this is, because honestly, I have lost track. One, two, three. Day eight. This is writing day eight technically. <laughs> so I just filled you in on the last like four or five days at one time. So there you go, guys. All right, I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start my writing today, and I will let you guys know how it goes. Okay, bye guys. Okay, guys. So it is Friday, January fifteenth, and I have finally, finally crossed the 10k mark yeah this fast drafting thing is not going as well as I'd hoped um but I mean I kind of knew it was going to be a struggle especially in the beginning because I've never fast drafted before uh I think the shortest I've ever written a book is like a year which was my second book so yeah trying to draft in three months Actually, less than three months. I think I gave myself 70 days to do this. And, yeah, that was definitely ambitious of me. Uh, so, right now I'm kind of happy that I even hit the 10K mark. Because that means I'm, I'm a fifth of the way through. But I also just checked my calendar. And if I want to continue to only write five days a week then that means I have less than 40 days left, actually, of actual writing days. Now, uh, I have a nasty feeling that the whole only writing five days a week and taking two days off as like a weekend thing is probably not going to continue. In fact, I already think that I'm probably going to be writing tomorrow, which is Saturday. And I should have Saturday off because I wanted to have Saturdays and Sundays off, but I have a feeling that's not going to happen because usually on the weekends is when my husband is home and when he's home that usually just kind of gives me some extra time to leave the house because he's home to stay with the kids so I can leave the house and actually get some work done. So, um, that's actually what I've been doing. I've been leaving the house when he gets home from work. So I've been trying to write in the evenings from, I usually leave the house like six, between six and 6.30. Unfortunately, I live like 20, 25 minutes away from a coffee shop, 20 to 25 minutes. So I don't actually get to the coffee shop until like between 6.30 and seven. So I usually write from then, from the time I get there until between 9 and 10. So that gives me like 2-3 hours um, during the week. Uh, but I, I don't always do that. Like yesterday, which was Valentine's Day, I didn't do that. And 
I didn't do that because I felt like it was Valentine's Day and that was the day that you're supposed to spend with your loved ones. I mean, it's Valentine's Day. So I was like, I'm not going to, I like, my husband just got home and I'm not going to like turn around and leave so I can go right today. Like I'm going to sit down and I'm going to spend some time with my family. So instead of writing, we had a game night last night. And it was nice, but I did, I mean, this morning I woke up and I was like, all right, I've been putting it all, you know, I didn't do it yesterday. I got to do it today. I don't have the Valentine's Day excuse. So I went to the coffee shop this morning uh, for probably two or three hours. Uh, and I did hit my thousand word goal. So yay me. Today I hit my goal and uh, I'm sitting down and now I'm going to, I'm going to work on some other stuff. But I plan on writing some more tomorrow. So I am still in catch-up mode because actually by the end of this week I should have been at 15k. And I am only at I think like 10,400. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be brutal if I actually want to hit my goal for the week. So um, I will keep you guys updated on how this weekend goes and if I actually catch up. Alright guys, see you next time.